Okay, y'all. Oh, wait, hang on. Hey, good afternoon. We're supposed to have had our Better Breathers Club today, but as you all know, we have this little thing called social distancing and social isolation that we are doing uh, in attempts to reduce the spread of the COVID-19 virus. Um, so I thought what I would do is just make a little video for you all today um, and just go over some things that are recommended from the American Lung Association on preventing the COVID-19 illness and spread. I know that you all are probably concerned about that because you do have underlying lung disease and so you know that you need to be even more careful than maybe others who are otherwise well. Um, so just going to go over some bullet points that I found on the American Lung Association website. Um, I want to be factual. I don't want to spread false information. So I made sure I went to um, that resource because that's the one we look to for the Better Breathers Club information. So there is currently no vaccine to prevent the coronavirus disease, the COVID-19 coronavirus. Uh, now something I did want to tell you that the word coronavirus, I mean that's also associated with the common cold. The common cold is a form of coronavirus. But this one is a new strain that uh, has developed and, and that's the one that we're dealing with right now as a pandemic. And a pandemic means it's worldwide exposure. Uh, prevention is the main focus here. So it's on good health practices and social distancing, as well as encouraging people experience symptom, experiencing symptoms to stay isolated. So isolated is more than social distancing where you literally remove yourself from contact with other people if you are tested positive with the COVID-19. So if someone in your home has tested positive, then you would want that person to stay like in their own bedroom, use a separate bathroom, and just try to reduce any contact with that person until they recover from it. Typically that's about 14 days once someone has tested positive, but health departments are looking, are walking people through what they need to do for those who have contact or contracted the COVID-19 virus. It's very, very important for you to protect yourself from possible infection. And this can be done very importantly by washing your hands frequently with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. And when I say soap and water, I, soap is better than uh, the hand sanitizers, but if you don't have soap available, then use a hand sanitizer, that's fine. Make sure you wash your hands between your fingers back side of your hands really well and then rinse them well and, clean, and dry them with a clean paper towel or clean towel. Um, avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with your hands and that's so hard to do. I still catch myself doing that even though I know I'm not supposed to. I think I have reduced it but I still catch myself at times um, because that can allow germs to go from your hands directly into the moist, porous areas of your mouth, your nose, and your eyes, and then allow germs to enter your body. Um, and if you are coughing, make sure you cover your cough um, with a tissue or into your elbow um, so that you're not spreading droplets to other people. And then immediately dispose of the tissue. I know some of us like to carry our little tissues around and reuse them, stick them up our sleeves. I'm not calling any names out, mother, but you know, don't do that. If you use a tissue, throw it away and we'll and get a new one um, because you don't want to spread those germs. Let's see. Uh, frequently touch surfaces like countertops, your telephone you use, um, a remote control, anything, doorknobs, Clean those periodically with a disinfectant. You can use those like Lysol wipes or just any spray. You can also make your own disinfectant with uh, bleach and water together. Um, so, you know, just make sure you're cleaning frequently to touch surfaces daily. 
Um, and then also when you are around other people, make sure you keep a social distance. And a social distance is defined as at least six feet away from other people when you're out in the community. Now right now, if at all possible, don't be out in the community. And I know that's hard. Um, try to find other ways to be in contact with people. You can use FaceTime these days if you know how to do that. If you don't, call a grandchild and they can walk you through it. Or uh, there's other ways you can communicate with other people. Um, there's webcams that can be used. Um, there's a product called Zoom or a software where you can connect with several people at one time. And I'll try to email you all how to do those types of things. So that way if you have family members who could also do that, you could maybe try to set that up. Um, as far as going to grocery stores, you can order online anymore and then just pick that up at a drive through location like at Kroger's or Walmart. I recommend you do that. Many pharmacies are having curbside service, so if, even if they don't have drive through I know the Walmart on Frederica now um, has a phone number you can call when you pull up and they'll bring your prescription out to you. Also know that if you need refills, you don't necessarily have to go to your doctor right now that there is a statewide mandate by the governor to extend prescription refills for 30 days so people don't have to go back to their doctor right now just to try to keep um, exposure to other people down to a minimal. Uh, stay away from large gatherings, um, especially you know for the elderly and those who have underlying health conditions. See, I just rubbed my eye. It's, it's just hard not to do that. So what I need to do now is use hand sanitizer, which I don't have in this room, but I'll do it as soon as this video is over. Hopefully I won't touch anything else in the meantime. Um, but if you have underlying health conditions, to stay home as much as possible right now. Um, you know, as our state is recommending uh, healthy at home. So, you know, do try to do that. Uh, if you do go out, don't shake people's hands. Don't do a fist bump. Some people think fist bump is safe and, you know, it's safer than a handshake. But just don't do it. Just say hey, wave to them. Um, because that can easily transmit the viruses. Um, let's see, I'm saying um a lot too. I'm not a good public speaker, am I? Avoid any unnecessary exposure to people that are known with COVID-19, certainly. Uh, stay home if you feel unwell. So if you think you might be having other symptoms than your normal symptoms, you don't want to spread it. Um, and seek medical attention if your symptoms worsen. So things you would ask your doctor if you think you might be experiencing different symptoms is, do you think I have COVID-19? Should I be tested for it? What is the best way to treat my symptoms? And what should I do if I notice the symptoms worsening? And how can I protect my family from catching my illness? And how long do I need to remain in isolation? So those are things you would ask if you think you have the COVID-19 symptoms which the symptoms are a dry cough, a short, worsening shortness of breath, fever. Um, and so those are the things you would look for. So if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out to your provider. Uh, a lot of them are managing a lot more things over the phone. So I think you should be able to get your questions answered without necessarily going to a doctor right now. Some of them are doing video appointments if you have that, a smartphone or something like that. Um, there are drive-through screening sites, so if you think you might have symptoms of this virus, that your doctor can order that test and you can just drive up to a drive-through screening site. The hospital is offering that um, and not even have to get out of your car. So with that being said, that's a lot of information and it's a lot of stuff we don't want to talk about. I'm sure you're getting tired of it. I know I am. Um, so, you're home, you're stuck. We didn't get to have Better Breathers Club, but you have a harmonica. So I recommend, this is a fun thing you can do while you're stuck at home. And I want to see some experts come the time we get to meet again because you all should have plenty of time to practice this harmonica. So today, in light of the COVID-19 virus, I would like to attempt 
And I'm just telling you, I just printed this like not even 10 minutes ago, so I've not practiced this at all, but I'm going to send you this music on the email, and I want us to learn how to play Stand By Me. Because um, even though we're not together right now, we, we are here for you. If you need us for anything, um, you can call the Heart and Lung Rehab at 270-688-5155. And let us know if you have any issues or concerns and we can try to help you address those or help you navigate through that because we are here to stand by you even though we're not able to be together right now. I, I really miss you all. Um, I'm very sad that we didn't get to meet but it's more important for us to try to keep you all healthy than it is for us to be together right now. So I really hope and pray that we get to be together next month. But we might not get to be and if so we'll cross that bridge then uh, we'll get through this but we have to do what's being recommended for us to do by staying apart right now in order for us to get through it so you all be safe make wise decisions and let us know if there's anything we can do for you in the meantime okay so here we go it's gonna it's it's gonna be bad y'all can laugh at me that's okay Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do because my mouth is getting dry. <laughs> but I did the, the first verse. I know it was awful, but that's okay. I was able to breathe in and out and do good lung exercises. And that's the point of doing this. Plus it's having fun. So I will commit to you that I will continue practicing this song. And the next time we're together, I want me as well as several of you to be pretty good at that song because we have time to practice it. So I miss you all, you take care, you be safe, and just hang in there.